the line, we have the lovely Tom Cunningham. How are you, Tom? I'm very well, thank you. Sitting in the sunshine here. Oh, you see? Isn't it lovely when the, the all the leaves start sprouting and the birds start chirping? It's fantastic, isn't yes, it? It is indeed. We can hear music all around us. It's true. Now, you see, that leads us beautifully, Tom, into why we are chatting today. Because you are a musician with the Highland... Now, now, let me get this right. The Edinburgh Highland Real and Strath Space Society. Is that right? That's correct. It's the oldest such society in the world. It was founded in 1881. And so we've been around... Well, not me, but the society's <laughs> been around for 136 years. And every year, the highlight is the annual concert in the... The Queen's Hall. And that's coming up soon, isn't it? The 11th of March, if I'm right. The 11th of March at 7.30, indeed. And is this the highlight of your calendar, then? Is this something that you all look forward to every year? Yes, I mean, we do other concerts during the year in churches or sometimes in other parts of the country, and we also take part in, in festivals and so on. But the annual concert in the Queen's Hall is indeed the, the highlight. And the, it's a wonderful orchestra because... It's made up of more than 50 players, and the age range is from about 10, would you believe, to oh, over 80. It's not uh, one of the players in particular, one of the bass players, has play, who is well over 80 now, has played in the orchestra since he was a teenager. <laughs> so the, the youngsters today, we've got some, as I say, who are 10, we've got plenty who are uh, secondary school age, and we've got some who are students. I hope these players will also enjoy this wonderful music right until they're in their 80s. You know, it's a wonderful mix of people from all walks of life and all ages. It's great fun to play in. I bet you it is, you know, and the thing is that, that, that you have so much there that, that you, you just just shared with us. Thank you so much. You were saying that it's one of the oldest societies, if not the oldest society in the, the, in the country. The oldest. It's it amazing. Is. Tell me about the passion that drives it, because it's there's a passion for a certain type of music and to keep it alive. And I can hear that in your voice. I can hear that passion and that love for it. Can yes, you share well, my, it with... my father and my uncle have played in the orchestra. So as a wee boy, I used to go to their, their concerts. And, and this is something which is in, in our blood, as, as I hear from your voice. It's in your, yes, your blood too. It really we're is. very lucky that we have a, a conductor who is a well-known solo fiddler herself, Isla Stephen, and she has taught... Uh, Scottish fiddle playing to many of these children in the orchestra and she now teaches all of us how to play properly you know the proper bowing techniques the interpretation the fact that a strathspey has got to be exactly in this way particular bowing particular tempo the reel has got to be different tempo and so on and she, she's very insistent in performing this music in the traditional way mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. a wonderful experience for us and i think for the audience the audience reaction shows that they appreciate hearing this wonderful music you see i'm with you on that one you know the thing about it is that if, if people haven't been tom to a concert like yours before is there a way of you explaining what, what we can expect? I know what we can expect because I come from the Highlands, and you're right, it's definitely in my blood, you know. Yes. But um, for, for perhaps people who haven't experienced it before, what do you think the, the night offers to your audience? Well, the type of music we play, I suppose, is really based on traditional dances because the spades and reels are the, the traditional dances of Scotland. But we also uh, perform slow airs, which I suppose come from songs, sad or mournful songs, or more positive love songs, and these provide a wonderful contrast to the, the more up-tempo uh, dance music that we do. And then just to give everybody a change of mood, we also uh, invite for every concert a solo singer. This year we have Colette Ruddy, who sung several times with us in the past. She's a wonderful singer, a classically trained singer, but also somebody who, uh, being Scottish and having this music in their blood, sings these wonderful songs, um, which we, we, we've known for, for so long. These can be songs by Burns, they can be songs by other composers. We've got, well, you know, Come Back Again, even this year. Um, <laughs> and it, it's Think On Me is another one. She's doing the Bluebell Polka, which uh, we know as a, as a, as a, a tune to dance to, but also has words. So these provide another variety to the concert. And then finally, we've got a primary school choir, the Fox Covert 
primary school choir from Edinburgh who were singing with us for the first time. So it's a wonderfully um, different type of evening. You have the music from the fiddle orchestra, you've got the singer, and you've got the the primary school choir giving everybody a big range of sensations to enjoy. Oh, you see, this is this is the thing, isn't it? It's as if as if the real society wasn't enough. Mm. You've also got, um, as you see, the choir. You've got the piano, but you've also got, which was again is something extremely close to my heart. Can you tell I'm getting all excited, Tom? <laughs> Honestly, I am. I am. You've got Robert Lovey, who's the commentator at the Highland Games circuit, and including the Braemar gathering. Yeah. Now you know that again, you because know, my dad was in the Highland Games circuit as a as a heavyweight athlete for years, <laughs> and I do know that a, a, a skilled, funny commentator like 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 Robert Lovey is going to bring something to the evening as well. That's yes, just going to give it an extra dimension. Well. Yeah. It, I'm sure that actually there's something for everybody in your evening there, isn't there? Well, there is, and um, it is something which appeals to all ages and there will be young people uh, there will be children at the concert the children get a big discount on the ticket prices uh, um, the Queen's Hall is a wonderful venue of course beautiful. to perform in beautiful. absolutely ideal for this type of concert beautiful well listen we can catch you on the 11th of March can't we at yes. the Queen's Hall now are you going to be fiddling like that are you a fiddler yourself then I'm actually a cellist would you believe the, ah. the orchestra is of course mostly fiddles yes. and we have two cellos and we have three double basses and a pianist so I'm one of the, the cellists in the orchestra and I really love playing along I, I can concentrate on my cello part while listening to the wonderful fiddle music around me indeed indeed and is that something that you've played then since you were a boy did you say tom well no i've enjoyed listening to this music since i was a boy because my father and my uncles played in this this orchestra but i actually only took up the cello when my daughters took up the violin and i thought my goodness i should be playing something to keep up with them and of course they stormed ahead immediately with their fiddles and I kind of <laughs> lagged behind with my cello but I play in a couple of orchestras in Edinburgh and it's it's great fun So would you say Tom that, that, that just in conclusion would you say that, that people of old, all ages all ages, it's never too late is it to take up something that you, you think you're going to love and, and, and to join part of, of, of a collaboration which which you obviously brings you great joy. That's right. In fact, there is an organisation in Edinburgh, I'm not sure I got the name right, but it's something like the Scots Music Group, which allows people of any age, as you say, to take up the fiddle or indeed other traditional instruments, gives them tuition, elementary tuition, then takes them to the next level, takes them to the next level, gives them opportunities to play together. It used to be based in Barramuir School. It may still be there, but yes. I know Barramuir School has been uh, is changing location. So if anybody's interested in that, Google Scots Music Group, because it's a great way of starting as a beginner. Then when you get a wee bit past the beginner level, come along and join us in the Edinburgh Highland Real and Space Society. We'll be delighted to welcome you. Do you know what? You know you're going to see me there next year, don't you? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. That that is such a. We'll be delighted to see you anytime. <laughs> it's such a great thing to be involved in. Not only, I'm sure, from the satisfaction point of view, but also from the social. It must be a very social thing for you as it, well. It is a very social orchestra. We we always have a a break for tea in the middle of each rehearsal, and everybody you know relates what they've been doing, relates what they'd like to be doing. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh -huh. talks about the music as well sometimes because, you know, people are very passionate about this repertoire that we perform. This particular concert, one of the, the items, one of the sets is based on castles that have an association with Mary, Queen of Scots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it could be Stirling Castle, it could be Loch Leven Castle, and we finish actually with Fotheringay Castle, which unfortunately was where she spent her last yes. days. So, yes. you know, these are interesting aspects, interesting topics to associate with the programme as well. Yes, so, so, so really it, it's working on a number of levels actually, isn't it? And we always include tunes from Orkney and Shetland as well because they are such um, wonderful, uh, they have such a wonderful repertoire of Fiddle music there too. Yes, it's a rich, it's a rich theme, isn't it? You, it Scotland is, is all wonderful. That this is continuing because you know we we also like other kinds of music. You just played the Beatles. Um, a wee while ago, the um, I play in a classical orchestra as well. You know that there are 
we have different musical interests, but we all come together to maintain this wonderful tradition of Scottish traditional music. Yeah, there's a great national pride. You know, in this day and age, when um, there is a resurgence, I believe, of national pride, there's a beauty, in, isn't there, in, in people of all ages getting together for the common purpose, do you feel? And, so, and that's what's unique about this uh, particular gathering, the fact that we have this age range from primary school through secondary school, through students, through young adults, right through to retired people and, and even... As I say, this one guy who's been in the orchestra for 70 years. Right, it's lovely, isn't it? Now, before we go, now, there's always been a raging debate, let me tell you, in this in this, this, this studio, Tom. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? My take is there's no, no difference, but, you know, I'm telling you, they poke my eyes out here on, the, on that, that argument. Well, I would hate to be the person to make anybody <laughs> poke anybody's eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I wouldn't really be able to give you the definitive solution. I would say it's the way you play it. Right. I think the, the instrument is physically the same, but there is a different technique to playing a fiddle than playing a violin. But the, the term fiddle exists in other cultures as well. It's not unique to Scotland. And, and I think, as far as I know, there is no physical difference in either the bow or the instrument. It's just the, the way you play it which differs. And that perhaps is, is, is the beauty of your society. There is, there is a style of playing which is particular to a real society, I believe, and a reeling, a, a, you know, a, a reeling orchestra. Do you feel that's the case? Oh, yes. Well, Isla Stephen is a specialist in this, this area, and she will spend, if necessary, some time uh, from time to time just explaining very carefully the different bowing techniques which are appropriate for different types of of the music. Um, now, being a cellist, I'm not <laughs> able to describe these uh, fiddle um, bowing techniques, but they, uh, the fiddle players have all had these techniques explained and know the difference between the different types of bowing, and, and hopefully this transforms an ordinary performance into something really special. Yeah, well, I, I think it is going to be a very special evening. Best of luck, Tom. Thank you so much for interrupting your afternoon to, to, to give us an idea of what we can expect. It's on a the great pleasure, and we look March. forward to welcome you, welcoming you any time as a, to join the orchestra I'd yourself. I love it. I'm not kidding you. I'd absolutely love it. You well, take come care. and find me when you come. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Tom. Lots Thanks of so love. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.